All right. Oh, there's another guy. Okay, so poor traveler got hit by slugs. That's about it. All right, so I'm gonna go out and I am going to talk to that uh, chick. I, uh, your father's dead. I'm gonna break it up to him. I mean, break it up to her. Sorry, not him. Not him. Break it up to her. And I'm gonna be like, hey, he's dead. Wait a minute. Hold on. Uh, I guess I could go down there, take the different route. Take the different route and see, yeah, I was going to say, and see if I can find something like that. Which was awesome, because I need those, sort of. Need eight of them. How many do I have? Let me check my inventory, because I might actually go for it then if I actually have enough. Let's see, uh, shit. I don't think they uh, are here, not in key items. How about other items? Oh yeah, they are. Oh shit, I just need two more. I just need two more. Holy crap. If I actually find them, I just need to get the slug sweets. So I might actually, I think I'm going to go for it. Normally, I don't go for it. But I'm going to go for it. Let's see, anything, anything up there? Oh my god, these things... Screw those guys. See you later. See you later. Alright. So I'm out of there. I am out of there. Alright. I'm looking for that stuff just in case. Uh oh, what spawned in? Oh, that thing. Oh, I can actually go for it. I can go for it, actually. Let's go. I can go for it. Oh wait, no, rapid fire. Oh, why did I do that? There you go, fire. Fire, fire, fire. There you go. Very easy to kill. Slug sweet. So I just need two more and I can make it. Two more and I can make it. Alright. So let's get on out of here. Am I going the right way? Or am I going back in there? I don't think I'm going out. Yeah, I'm going out. Oh shit. Shit. Oh, one of them is going after that chocobo. The other is just leaving me alone. Which is fantastic. Fantastic. Uh oh. It's 12. I know it's 12, buddy. I know it's getting a little later. Alright, I'll take this. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And people are texting me. I just heard that. But I'm not going to get it. Because I am more, this is more important to get this done correctly and not screwing up. Doing this on time, not screwing up. On time, and not screwing up. Time, not screwing up. <laughs> Alright, so there's the 100 chiefs there now. I don't know why. Alright, where is she? There you are, thank God. Yes.
promise me you'll look after it. Keep it safe. This is my last request to you. There will be no more after this. Farewell, my dearest daughter. <laughs> oh, Dad! Are you all right? Yes. Thank you for everything. For telling me the truth. Father stayed here on the farm, not because he liked it, but because he didn't want to leave me alone. He always wanted to leave, to leave this place and go on a journey. A journey? Yes, to find my mother. She disappeared a long time ago, but he believed she was alive, and he thought I held him back. You shouldn't think like that. But it's true. Look what he wrote in the letter. It's all about that stupid flower that never even blooms. He practically comes out and says he doesn't care what happens to me as long as his precious flower is safe. What flower? Oh, who cares? He was obsessed with it, you know? Always fussing over it. Even though it never bloomed once. What? It is. It really is. I found it! Unbelievable! Who are you? Why, who cares who I am? Behold, the Sorala Rosa, genus Muncius, the flower of legend, said to bloom once every 500 years. What? Sorala? Yes, yes. Sorala Rosa Muncius. In the ancient tongue, it means for the love of my daughter. The legend says that any place that it blooms will be blessed with great fortune and prosperity forever. I must leave you now and write my paper before my rivals beat me to it. Cornelia is my name, and plant biology is my game. Goodbye and good luck. Wow. That was kind of like, Sorella. what? Hmm. He must have named you after the flower for good luck and prosperity. Yes. Oh, Dad. All right, quest complete. I don't know exactly what you get here. 800, girlish glasses. Okay, 80 HP, 4 strength, 8 magic. Soul. Hey, I got all this uh, fertilizer. Can you oh, give me some stuff? You wanted some greens, didn't you? Yes, I do. You can borrow my field if you like to grow some of your own. I'm not a farmer. You'll soon get the hang of it. You just need dirt, which I've got. And we've got the fertilizer that father found. There you go. Can you see the spots where I spread the fertilizer? Just plant seeds there and gazelle greens will sprout thick as weeds. Here, I'll give you your first seed. All right, five vegetable seeds. The better the fertilizer, the more greens you can grow. Go find some and bring it back here. All right, you can use Sorala's field and can cannot open his farms to grow grizzal greens. Investigate the mounded soil in the fields to plant vegetable seeds. It will take approximately six hours for your crops to sprout and mature. Vegetable seeds can be bought from the wandering merchants in Canopus farms and may also be found in the ex expansive plains in areas like grasslands. You can give the greens that you grow to your white chocobo or sell them in shops for profit. I'm gonna give it to my chocobo. Alright. Plant, yes. You go, yeah, I know. Six hours, I know. Oh, only one spot? Sorala, that's it! Hand over, yes, here. All right, so where's this patch? There you go. Yes, there you go. And I got another one. Plant the seeds and wait one night. You'll have a crop of tasty vegetables waiting for you the next day. They grow fast, but it's not instantaneous. All right, all right. So I don't think I got a uh, green. I don't think. Nope. Damn. Damn. Greens or milk to spare. 
Guys, got anything to spare? You? Everyone's been asking after the chocobo. The innkeeper, Sorrel, and her field. Even that man who fetched Dr. Gazal. They're so worried about... Oh, I think I know who. I think I know who. The hunter chief. My friend, we meet again. They tell me that the white chocobo is out of danger. Yes, he's safe for now. Thanks to you. You brought the doctor just in time. Lucky for us both. I'm glad we could save that magnificent animal. Now here, I give you this gift. Alright, got it, thank you. That's what I needed. That is what I needed. Now this should work. Arise, Chocobo, arise! Pop-Tart! Come on, I need you to get up, Pop Tart. Need your help. Easy there. Be careful. You're such a resilient animal. Will he be all right? Hmm. Well, let's have a look. enough to be ridden, I'd say. He's on the way to a complete recovery, but you'll need to keep an eye on him for a while. Uh -huh. ah, I must say, he truly is a splendid specimen. I've spent a hundred years caring for chocobos, and I feel as if it were all preparing me for this moment. Thank you. All right. So let us uh, ride our chocobo. First quest complete. Let's get our buffs. All right. So uh, white chocobo chick, a thousand, one thousand two hundred, eighty health, eight strength, eight magic, and I got pop tart in my party. Most important, important member in the party right here. All right, you can ride upon the back of your white chocobo to move around the wildlands. Chocobos run about the same speed that lightning can achieve by dashing. But riding the chocobo will not reduce your action gauge. You'll be able to run from one end of the wilderness to the other end without repercussions. How to ride your chocobo. Left bumper, mount and dismount the chocobo. Right bumper, attack. B to jump. Lightning automatically climbs her steed when talking to other people or during other events. Can also give the white chocobo a secret name that only you will know, aka Pop Tart. Everyone knows Pop Tart though. When you're riding the chocobo or near the to him, you will be able to fight together. The actions during the chocobo can take during battle differ based upon the strength of his bound with lightning. If you could take good care of your chocobo, he will grow to be a powerful ally for lightning. The bound with your chocobo and its abilities, Choco Bond Level One. Perks continually at pecks continually at enemies. He restores some HP to his mistress when she's in a pinch. Chocobo bound level two. Strikes at weakness at weaknesses using first tier elemental magic. He can strengthen his mistress with buffs and restore HP to his mistress when she's in a pinch. Chocobo bound level three. Strikes at weaknesses using third tier elemental magic. He restores a great deal of HP to his mistress when she's in a pinch. All right, I am going to try to get that second tier real quick. All right, whoops, wrong one. Wrong one. Sorry, sorry, sorry. That was actually this one. I will. I want to get the Yule. Actually, first, first I'm going to go to the uh, board. I'm going to go to the uh, little board because I got the vegetable seeds. I got the vegetable seeds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, there's uh, something I can use there. Thank you. Thank you. I will be going to the board first. Oh, there's a chick that uh, has quest. There you go. Mother, you're here. You're really here. Of course, honey. It's been so long. You seem to be doing well. Compared to Luxurian, things aren't as convenient, but it's not so bad. Come on, I'll show you around the village. Oh, and remember, don't stray too far from the path. It's not safe. Thank you, dear. I'll be sure to remember that. 
can't think of a bond stronger than the love between a mother and child. Are you all right? I used to have family too. A sweet little thing who I adopted as my own. How I loved her. Hmm. Where is she now? She's gone. But she was the sweetest thing, always following me around. Her fur was the softest of all animals. Fur? What? You mean... Oh, wait. You're talking about a pet. A dog, yes. But she was so much more than that. Her name was Clove. She was my only family. One day I lost sight of her for a split second. And she just never came home. Even though I loved her like my own, she probably didn't feel the same about me. All right, so I gotta find this dog. But first, I want to go to this board. I want to go to the board. Hey, what's going on? Anything? Yeah, all right, here's sunflower. All right, so I got a bunch of those. I will complete the quest. Ah. All right, let's see. Uh, 250 crimson flower. Health and strength. I'll take it. Wild lands in danger. Here's some vegetable seeds. There you go. Have fun with that. All right, so 300. I got uh, a couple accessories. I got health and magic this time. Which I will take. Okay. Well, Moogles B. I need Moogle dust. I need Moogle dust. All right, and I need fading prayers. Old-fashioned photo frame. I don't know where this photo frame's gonna be at, but it's gonna be somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Enough talking, Chocoblina. Okay, let us uh, use some uh, chronostasis real quick. Let's keep me in a uh, three EP. It seems like a fair amount. Take that. Take that. I need to get to the other areas now. I need to get to the other area. I need to go back really on the, uh, back on the, uh, how do you call it? Ah, oh, that 100 place. God, the Jagged Woods. I need to go back there. Because I need to find the Yule's Flower. I think I remember where it's at. I think. It's kind of close where the Moogles are at that I remember. That I remember. There's all no. There's that thing guarding the entrance. You guys got this. You guys got this. I trust you guys. I trust you guys. I don't see anything. I could you try to find that uh, Choco Brule stuff and then I could uh attack some other stuff let me see what he attacks with a peck it's kind of a weak attack but I mean for the slugs it might work I might uh, it might work for the slugs because I know I need to fight these slugs oh there they are speaking of the slugs there you go there you go all right so I should probably do some fire there you go they're already dead you didn't even have to do anything, Chocobo. I got attack level 1 and slug sweet times 3. I think I might have... No, I think I need one more slug sweet, I think. Think. I think. Let's look around here. If I find any. You see, I don't see any. I don't see any. Oh, well. Did I uh, get this? No, I didn't. Got force fertilizer. Nice. Got the force fertilizer. I could kill him. I could kill him. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, they do feel like dying. Fire. They do feel like dying. All right. Staggered and they're dead. No one got hurt. I got the slug sweets I needed. There's no more need to fight them. All right, so now I just need two of those uh, choco bull thingies. Oh no! Screw you guys! I'm done fighting you guys. I'm trying to find stuff. I'm trying to find stuff right now. 
It's like a little swamp area. I don't remember going in this little swamp area. Oh, I found one. Found one. All right. I need uh, another one. Uh-oh. Oh, where am I going? Where am I going? Hmm, I guess I am going somewhere. Yeah, I'm going somewhere, but I just gotta be careful. Well, that sucked. Yeah, screw you guys. Another easy uh, victory. Too many slug sweets, though. Too many slug sweets. I should, probably should have dismounted there. Because I could have avoided better... Because I could have seen... Oh. Done. Done. Let's head back. Let's head back. Well, actually, no. I might not. I, it'll be a good idea to find Yule's flower. Yule's flower, I think, was in that area. Yeah, I actually... Turn around. Make a complete uh, U-turn. Let me see where I'm going. I should take the path to the left. But first, let's talk to this guy. Hey, listen, you ever seen moguls around here? Not right now, but at night they do come out. Ooh, there's another one. Thank you. I can't get up there. Can't get up there. But sooner or later, oh shit. Oh man, that was close. Thank you. Thank you. I got plenty of those, but fuck those guys. Fuck those guys. Okay, please, no enemy spawn. Okay, good. This thing's open. This thing is open. Yeah, screw those slugs. All right now, I gotta find Yule's flower. I don't recall where it was. But I was somewhere here. Ooh, what is that? Hold on. Oh shit. Chaos. Chaos. Hmm. Where was it? Please don't tell me it was in the chaos. I don't think it was in the chaos. Oh, avoid those things. I don't remember. Oh, wait a minute. Is that it? Yeah, I found it. They tell me this will make you strong. Here, eat it. <laughs> well, looks like it works. Nadia's the one who told me about the flower, and she's anxious to see you. Let's go to Yogd and thank her in person. All right, perfect. Found it. All right, a little better after eating the flower. Awesome. Awesome. So let's see if I can make a complete U-turn on the map. Let's see. Yeah, I can go uh, in this direction. So I should probably go here, go over there, and I can go straight down. And this should lead me close to uh, Yogg. That should lead me close to Yogg. Oh shit, a bunch of slugs. Still doesn't matter. I can just avoid them all. Oh shit, that's right. Okay, I can't take that path. I have to take the other path. That is right, I forgot about that. Well, fuck. Looks like I'm taking the long way home. Just in case, I am going to use a chronostasis. Just because I can, I have EP for that. I have EP for that. Oh shit. His uh, guy's after me over there. It's okay. Wait a minute. Am I going the right way? I don't think so. I think I have to go up. A yeah, I do. Good thing I have chronostasis. Oh, shit, here comes an enemy. Oh, no. He didn't see me. Never mind. Didn't see me, so it's all right. It's all right. All right, so let's go back to Yogg so we can thank her. We can get a recipe. Well, we can get that other item. Fuck those guys! Alright. At least I jumped out of the first one. Second one almost got me. Second one almost got me. Okay, so for me to go to Yogg, I think I have to go over here. 
Unless, actually, I think I could take this path up, but I can go down. So let's screw these guys. Run away from. Okay, never mind. They have that barricaded. Never mind. Never mind. My plan failed. You got this, Hunter. You got this. You got this. It's all you, man. Protect me. Yeah, see, they got it. Oh, there goes the chronostasis. I was like, what the fuck? It's about to say. Oh, man. More of those fast things. Oh, shit. Okay, I got another one of that. I wonder how many I have. Maybe I can make two. That would be a great thing. Okay, so I can't go that way. That way is a no-go. But I can go this way. I think Yogg's this way anyway, so let's check. Just to make sure. E sort of. I have to go all the way around. I have to go all the way around. And it would have been a lot easier if that other path was open. That other path was open. It would have been a lot easier. Much simpler, but at least this path's open right here. Because that would be terrible. Hey, what's going on? Hey, yeah. Uh, I think I have enough for a second one. I might need to kill some slugs now. You know what? I'll kill you. Just because I want to get some more slug sweets. Alright, so let's go with some fire. There you go. Give me some slug sweets. Thank you. They don't even do any damage to me, so it's okay. Yeah. Look at all this. How many do I have? How many do I have? I gotta check my inventory. Other items. Yeah, look at that. I, I have enough for two. Almost three. So if I see some of these, I should probably kill them. There you go. Fuck you. Alright. Let's do some fire. There you go. Alright, I gotta see how many slug sweets I have. I should probably check how many I need, actually. I'll probably kill, like, a one more pair of slugs. One more pair of slugs, and that should probably do it. That should probably do it. Ooh, here's some more. Here's some more. It'd be a great if I could find another one. If I can find another one. I think I can make three. It's a fairy tale. I'm a fairy tale now. I'm a fairy tale. I see how it is. I see how it is. There's a random person over there that I never met. Hey, what's going on, brother? To see shop doing as well as always. All right. Well, there's uh oh no, that didn't grow yet. That did not grow yet. So where's the uh, chick? There she is. Oh, it's all over for me. Tuh. Nadia, are you all right? What happened? That doesn't sound like realistic. See, what a crazy chick. You were just pretending to be sick? Why would you do that? Um, well, it's kind of an embarrassing story, but we're friends now, aren't we? No, no we're not. None, but I had a big falling out with my family, and I ran away from home. Back in the city, I was treated like a princess. I just had to snap my fingers to get whatever I wanted. But that's not real living, is it? I got tired of that life. I want to defend for myself, survive by my own skill. But you didn't realize just how hard that would be. I lasted three whole days before I collapsed in the woods, weak from thirst. And that's when this little guy came along just in time. <coughs> he must have been injured too, because he was holding a Yule's flower in his beak. I thought to myself, I'm going to die, but at least I'll have this beautiful chocobo to watch over me as I go. But then, something even more incredible and beautiful happened. The chocobo spoke to me, as clear as I'm talking to you now. Hang in there, he said. You mustn't die. At first, all I could do was stare in shock. But then, his words began to sink in. I realized he was trying to save my life. 
Anyway, right after that, some villagers found me, and they nursed me back to health. But I'm sure that I wouldn't have been alive when they found me if it wasn't for my little chocobo. Ah, uh, you owe him your life. Crap. So that's what your little play acting was about. You thought if you could convince the chocobo that you were dying, he might start talking to you again, like he did the first time. Yep. I was trying to recreate the scene just like it happened, with the Yule's flower in the beak and everything. And to be honest, I could do with a chocobo giving me encouragement again. Life has been... getting me down. I thought if I could hear the chocobo talk again, he might cheer me up like the last time. <laughs> I know it's stupid. Chocobos can't talk. Oh, I guess it was just in my head that first time. It's all right. You'll find what you're looking for. What? Don't turn around. I... You're searching for meaning to your life. Tuh. And you're going to find it. I know you will. In fact, maybe you already have, if you really, really think about it. Sometimes you lose your way. Sometimes the going gets so steep you fall, but the path is always there in front of you. You just have to keep going. Yes. You're right, it is there, and I do see it. Thank you. You gotta be kidding me. What a crazy ass chick. Chocobo chick. Got health and some magic. Got a soul. That was hilarious, though. Yes, what do you want? I heard the Chocobo talk. You're going to find it. I know you will. That was a clever trick you pulled, young man. <laughs> young man, I'm a girl. Uh, you are? <laughs> Sorry, I I didn't You realize. kidding me? Good grief, everyone's the same. No one ever looks at me. It's like when I helped Nadia. The first time, I mean. She saw the chocobo, but she didn't see me on its back. Aha. Uh -huh. So that's what happened. It was you who spoke to her. She was half dead and delirious, so she thought it was the chocobo. She's read way too many fairy tale books. But I guess it was kind of good it happened that way. But thanks to that, she wanted to go on living. So you can't tell Nadia the truth, okay? Okay, agreed. What you did was good, pretending to be a chocobo and saying those things to her. She needed that. Wise words. Sometimes the going gets so steep you fall, but the path is always there in front of you. Huh? I didn't say anything like that. What does it even mean? I just told her it's all right, or something like that. Wait, really? You didn't give a little speech? No, weird. Maybe you both imagined it. <sighs> or maybe they can talk. Tuh. Yeah, sure. Alright, so let's talk to Nadia for a second. You gonna give me something? village for a short time, and before that, I'd spent my whole life in the city. I haven't been able to help anyone. Just the opposite. I've been nothing but a burden. And so I lost a lot of my confidence. But now that confidence is back, right? Thanks to you and the Chocobo. Has the Chocobo talked again since that time? No, not a word. Why do you ask? I was there when it spoke the second time. I heard it just like you, and I still find it hard to believe. I know. It still seems so incredible. Most people would just assume it's their imagination, or a trick. But you believe it was a chocobo. You know, I don't think I care. Even if it was a trick, the words were the same, right? Whoever said them meant to help me. Talking chocobo or not, that means someone is looking over me, and they care about me too. That much is true, if nothing else is. It took a little while to realize that, but once I did, I felt a lot better. And, you know, it sounds like they were right, too. They said, you're searching for meaning to your life, and you're gonna find it. I know you will. Turned out, they were right. And that much is true, too. 